took us out of the competition for the year 2000. In true South Sydney form, there were a lot of very loud profanities. <laughs> you know, George sort of, right, they want to kick us out of the comp. You can see with George, as in the football field, that um, if someone hit him with a left and a right, um, George would say, is that all you've got, bring it on. Significant South people were saying, well, who's this cowboy that George has got to fight this fight for us? And they all turned to me and said, run with it. The club was my client, but so were, was every South Sydney supporter in the country, or in the world. When you're doing something that makes grown men cry, perhaps you should think again about what it is you're doing. It was the little man, the working class man, who'd always been trodden on, who was fighting the big corporate. We're going to have a rally this Sunday. We, we, on Sunday, we're going to come. The small end of town is going to march to the big end of town to ask for what's been taken back. Wow, well, you know, we've got a good thing going here. This cause is right. But they had a problem in that a number of us had regular access to the media. We were the media. The newspapers um, uh, didn't want to tell that story. Certainly the Murdoch newspapers didn't want to tell the story. It certainly was blood told. We'll fight you, we'll take us to court. We were all plunging into darkness. We had no idea where this was going to take us. 